Hello, second grade Smarties, and welcome to Foundations Unit 11, week two, day one. This week, we are still exploring reading and spelling words with vowel teams E, 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 A, and E, Y. And what do those vowel teams all say? They all have that long E sound. This week, we are going to talk about spelling multi-syllable words, so words with more than one syllable that have those vowel teams. Today, we are going to talk a little bit more about the vowel team E-Y, but let's start with some drill practice. So remember to echo after me, A-I, bait, A. A-Y, play, A. E, E, Jeep, E. E, A, Eat, E. E, Y, Key, E. Let's do some short vowel sounds. A, Apple, A. E, Ed, E. I, Itch, I. O, Octopus, A. U, up, uh. F, fun, f. L, lamp, l. K, kite, k. T, top, t. And some R control vowels. A, R, car, r. O, R, horn, or. E R her er. I R bird er. You are burn er. What does E R I R and you are all say? They all say er. All right, and let's finish our drill with some suffixes. Now, suffixes, do we see that before a base word or after a base word? We see it after a base word. So remember, these go at the end of our word. So remember, when we see Y at the end of a word acting like a suffix, what is it going to sound like? It's going to sound like a long E sound. All right, so Y-E. L-Y-Lee. T-Y. T. Now keep that information in your head because remember, when we see Y at the end of a multi-syllable word, it usually says E. But if we see that Y at the end of a one-syllable word, it usually says I. Kiss your brain, smarties. All right, so we are going to be talking about our vowel team EY. Now, Last week, we talked about when we hear that vowel team E-E -E or E-A in the middle of a word, sometimes it's a homophone, right? We've talked about how a word can sound the same, two words can sound the same, but they have different spellings and different meanings. We also talked about using what kind of tool to find the correct spelling, our online dictionary. So I am going to build a word. And we are going to tap it out and chat about it. All right. So let's tap out this word that you see on the screen. Here we go. Ch, I, m, n, e, chimney. Let's clap the syllables in that. Ready? Chimney. Chim. Me. How many syllables do you hear? There's two syllables. So I'm going to drag my syllable frames up. In the first syllable, we hear chim. Ch. I. M. Chim. Ni. Chimney. In our first syllable, chim. Is this an open, closed, R controlled vowel? or a double vowel syllable, chim. It's a closed syllable, right? Because we hear that short vowel sound and it's closed in by a consonant. Now, knee, n, e. We know that E-Y says E. What's another letter that we usually see at the end that can say E? 
usually we either see that Y or that suffix Y. So we have to figure out if we hear that E at the end of a word, do we need EY? Do we need Y as a vowel or Y as a suffix? So this is chimney. Let's look at another word that has that E at the end. We're going to spell the word silly. So I L. Now this is a two syllable word. So we're going to need that bonus L. Silly. 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 Now this is also a two syllable word. Silly. So sil s i o l li o e silly and actually nope that is correct silly so this word has that e at the end but did we use that vowel team ey no we used y as a vowel the y is by itself let's look at another word that has e at the end let's so let's think about chimney. Chimney had that E-Y at the end. So we are going to have to think about spelling options. Which one's going to look correct? And which one can we use our online dictionary to find the definition? So let's look at another word. Now I'm, I'm not going to put the last letter or letters at the end. We have to figure it out. So we are going to spell the word donkey. Don key. Donkey. What do you hear in that first syllable? Donkey. Donkey. D -a -n. Don. So our first syllable, what kind of syllable is don? It's a closed syllable. Why is it a closed syllable? That O is saying it's short vowel sound and it's closed in by a consonant. Now, key. Don. Key. Ooh, all right, smarties. So we need to decide, do we need E-Y, Y, or sometimes E-E -E goes at the end of a word. Not always, but sometimes it does. Mm, don key. We know that these are all spelling options that we could read but we need to know which one is correct, donkey. So looking at the screen, Smarties, which vowel team or vowel am I going to use for donkey? Go ahead and tell someone around you, which, which option are we going to put with the syllable key? All right, so I, I, I think that Y is sounding really good. I can still spell it. I can still sound it out. Don key. I know that Y at the end of a multi-syllable word says E. So I'm going to go to my online dictionary. And let's see. Online dictionary for kids. And I'm going to go to learner's dictionary. And I am going to type in the spelling of donkey that I use. D Ah, mm, k, e, donkey. Ooh, okay. So it did not bring up a definition, which means I need to find a spelling suggestion. So the first one they give us is dinky. Well, that's not the word we're looking for. But the one right under it, don, k, e, donkey. So the word donkey needs the vowel team e, y. So I can go back and change that out, donkey. Sometimes, like I said, we will see words that have that vowel team E-E. -E. So I'm going to spell the word referee, ref-er-e. Ooh, three syllables, referee. So er, f, ref, er, f, ooh. Referee, it's going to have an R control vowel. It's going to be E R, ref, er, 
E. This is an example of a word that has E, E at the end. Okay, so it's still saying that long E. We do not see a lot of words that has E, E at the end. So this is a spelling option that we could use, but we don't see it a lot. All right, Smarties, let's switch gears and talk about some trick words. All right, so the first trick word for this week, oh, this is Miss Mason's my favorite meal of the day, breakfast. Breakfast. What's this word? Breakfast. Now, this, if we look, if we just look at the word, this can be a compound word. So this is the word break. But when we say breakfast, it just sounds like a short S sound. Break fast. But it's a trick word. We don't say it like that. This is the word breakfast. What's the word? Breakfast. Let's skywrite it. B R E A K F A S T breakfast. Whoo, that's a long word. All right, let's spell it on our arm. Here we go. B R E A K F A S T breakfast. I had a delicious breakfast this morning. Our next word is the word head. Head. Now, when we look at this word, it has the vowel team E-A. What does E-A usually say? Usually says E, but this is a trick word. It's a word we just have to know. It's a word we just have to know how to read and how to spell. This is the word head. We all have great heads. <laughs> all right, let's skywrite the word head. H E A D, head. Head. Let's write it on our leg. Here we go. H E A D, head. Head. And our last trick word for this week is ready. Ooh, what is that Y saying at the end of this word? It's saying E. But this vowel team E-A, it usually says E, but it's saying the short vowel sound eh. So remember, this is a word we just have to know. All right, ready. I am ready to learn this morning. Let's skywrite the word ready. Here we go. R-E-A-D-Y, ready, ready. Let's write it on the ground. So get your writing fingers ready and let's spell it on the floor r e a d y ready i am ready to have a growth mindset all right let's go through these one more time breakfast head ready all right and smarties you are going to need your student notebook because we are going to put these trick words in our student notebook so we can refer to it if we ever need to so let's go ahead let's start with breakfast so we are going to be in our student notebook on page 67. make sure that your trick words are not going are not going where our vocabulary words, okay? Make sure that you are going to the trick word section. So we are on page 67, 6, 10, 7, 1, 60 plus 7. All right, and we are going to spell the word breakfast under the word brother. So breakfast is going to go right here. All right, here we go. So I'm going to let my mouth be the boss as I spell this. Here we go, B, R, E, a K F A S T breakfast. And I use my best second grade handwriting. I made sure that my F, my T, my K, and my B all went to the skyline. Breakfast. All right, let's go to the word head. So we are going to go to page. 70, seven tens, or 70 ones, seven tens, 70. And we are going to spell the word head under the word house. 
Remember guys, this is a great tool to use when you might need help remembering how to spell or read a trick word. All right, so house or head, I'm gonna let my mouth be the boss. H E A D head. Made sure to use my best second grade handwriting, head. And our last trick word for this week is ready. And ready is going to be on page 72 and it's going to go under the word right. So we are going to spell the word ready. Let your mouth be the boss. R E A D Y ready. Ready. All right, Smarties, remember to use this tool. This is a tool. This is something you can use to help build your knowledge and to keep that growth mindset. And as always, keep that growth mindset because you are a good learner and good learners do hard and challenging things. All right, Smarties, that is it for today's lesson. Remember to think about your spelling options and don't forget to use your online dictionary to find correct spellings. That's going to be it for today. Happy learning, Smarties.